Hello everyone, welcome back. This is I Say Cosm. Today we're continuing with Dreams in the Witch House. Uh, lots of studying going on here. But also some other things. We need to do some work. What? Did I take too long getting down the stairs? I don't have money for food. This is unfortunate. The only thing we can do is study chemistry. Obviously, the theory of combustion used oxygen to overthrow the logiston theory. Damn rats, they break my concentration. Yeah. Well, that light bulb's gonna go out any minute now. Uh oh. We didn't sleep. We're gonna work so we can have some food. the rain gutters very nice very nice I missed my lecture Hey! Slept well. Right, let's study some more of this. Do doctor study. Let's go to sleep. I'm not tired. I'm a decent swimmer. Need some swimmer. Good rest. What a cold day. Now we can go get the patch. But first. The lecture is today! The law of conservation of mass dates from the Rose's discovery that mass is neither created nor destroyed in chemical reactions. In other words, the mass of an element at the beginning of a reaction will equal the mass of that element at the end of the reaction. Exam is 25th. Boil, rub it. Oh, I can't read it. Oh well. Um. Let's patch this boat. Make 
sure you make a tight fit. You'll never seal it if there's gaping cracks. You know, I used to... Okay. That worked quite well. I managed to shape the tin so that it's nicely in place. The boat is not yet seaworthy. Need to seal the cracks with tar. Okay, now I'll apply the tar so that the cracks are sealed and the water stays out. Ugh, what a stench. Nothing like that tar smell, is there? Just stick your hand in the tar and spread it around with it. That's the tried and true way. You know... Okay. A pretty British way. The tar really seemed to do the trick. We need to wait for the patch to dry, but after that, the boat should be ready to use. It should be ready by tomorrow. Good. I forgot to ask for a light bulb. Green glow is somewhat unsettling. Uh, and then we no. Sleeping through that. They did a really good job with that. Oh, hang on. get much sleep I had restless dreams I saw a blurry figure emerge from that violet pulsating portal who or what was it after that I plunged into a roaring twilight abyss then the dream changed it was nothing like I've ever seen before it's hard to describe it an utterly alien world with its own laws of physics I'm hungry <laughs> there's that's the takeaway I slept well Very nice, very nice. Uh, they did that pretty well in the book as Walter Gilman has his dreams. The images of Brown Jenkin and Kezia Mason slowly come become more clear. They start off very blurry and indiscernible. I thought that was a nice little touch. I'm sure that we'll start seeing her a bit more clearly. That old hag. Downtown, Miskatonic. Yeah, we'll go Miskatonic. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to study much more. That looked like the door was open. Somebody's left the door unlocked. I guess we could take a quick peek inside. What is this? There's a paper with lecture notes, but I don't need that. Let's see if there's something else here. I can't reach there properly. My hand can't fit all the way in there. Let's see if I can use the pointer to probe around under the cabinet. What do we have here? This must be the missing student ID. How did it end up here? I guess I should return it. And now we smash stuff. It's a complicated looking chemistry set. I don't know how to use it. I need to study chemistry if I want to know more. The university's library might have a suitable book for that.
Ahem, today we'll be talking about... No, this is silly. Let's see what's inside. Nothing here. Alright. Maybe we can learn the basics of chemistry after having read the second more complicated one. First, we will return this and get our money. You can return it to her personally. She's standing right there. Oh, alright. Excuse me? Yes? Are you Alison Whitman? The one who lost their student card? Yes. Have you found it? There we go. I have it right here. Look at that. Thank you so much. I'd almost given up hope. I promised a reward for finding the card. Here's a dollar for your efforts. Thanks. I think a proper introduction is in order. Alison Whitman. Walter Gilman. I don't know anyone here yet. So it's nice to meet a friendly face. Are you a freshman or? Yes, I just started here. Me too. If you ever need a study partner, let me know. We might be able to help each other. Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Just wait until she sees the kind of stuff we're into. Actually. Dale. Let's see if she wants to study with us now. Hello again. Hi, Walter. Said we could use this lab. Studying alone can get so boring after a while. Do you have organic chemistry too? I do! So would you like to study together? Yes. I think that having a study partner might help for grades. I'm busy during the week, but we could meet next weekend. Is Saturday alright? Yes, I think so. Where shall we meet? Let's meet at the coffee house, okay? Have a free refill of coffee. Around midday? Works for me! Great. See you at the coffee house then next Saturday. Alright, I'll mark the date down. I have no time to chit chat. Excuse me, how can I help? I don't need that. Borrow the book. Got my lab bulb, lady. Oh, come on. Huh. <laughs> Should be saying that. Back to you as the most annoying tenant you've probably ever had. Alright, well, let's put some fire in the fireplace. Cold, hungry, rested. Can we burn books? Noises from the attic obstructed my Oh no! so bad at this game. I plunged into a roaring twilight abyss, then the dream changed. I was again in that alien world with the strange physics and geometry. Wait, go back to sleep. I'm not tired right now. Okay. It's night. Rest. A good rest. A 
a good rest cold day it is let's see there's a coffee house eat some food I suppose I could go take a look out of that lake. I'm gonna remove the plates, the boat. Hey old man. I'm not that old, sorry. Just wanted to let you know that I fixed your boat, did you now? Well, I'm a man of my word. I'll let you use old Betty. Just don't do anything stupid with her. And return her back here once you're done. Sure thing. The moment of truth. Let's see if the boat floats. Now! Off to the island! Not bad at all. The boat took on only the slightest amount of water. Oh, off to the island again. Anchors away! It's an official looking weather beaten sign. Miskatonic River Standing Stones. Surprisingly, little is known about the Miskatonic River Standing Stones. They were probably erected between 1000 and 1500 AD. The most popular theory is that they were erected by Wampanoag Indians that lived in the Massachusetts area. When the pilgrims arrived in 1620, they called them the Devil's Stones and started to avoid the island, hence the name Unvisited Island. Curiously, the Wampanoag claimed that the stones were already standing when they colonized the area. Most of the symbols engraved into the stones are common Indian petroglyphs, depicting animals and tribal leaders. To this day, the use of the eight standing stones is still unknown. They were probably associated with religious rit rituals, of which we have little or no archaeological trace other than the stones themselves. Sign erected and maintained by Arkham Historical Society with a generous donation from the Orn Estate. Strange symbol has been painted on the stone. There's a curious small circle etched under it. What does that mean? It doesn't budge at all. What's this? The hole in the rock has an uneven surface and it runs down quite deeply within. I don't know what it's for though, or what to do with it. I don't think I do. Let's see if I can use the rod here. A perfect fit! Now maybe if I... What was that sound? I think it came from underground. The rod must be a key, and the stone in the lock. Touching the petroglyph doesn't do anything. It works now. The button is unlocked. Hmm. Tree trunk. It's too large to carry. Okay. Driftwood. This looks dry enough. I might need some firewood. Okay. I think if we come back at night, we might be able to get a bit more done there. I'm gonna make faster progress with my chemistry knowledge. Soon I'll be ready to experiment with chemistry. Should work on my theorem now. Oh. Fine. Half the cult. Dams. Dams are three, so that's pretty good. Here we go. 
Let's have a look what this glowing is. What's going on in here? How long do we need to be here anyway? They'll see me if I get any closer. I'm freezing. Until they come back. You know that. So stop complaining. Do you know if they found the key? Last I heard it was at the university. I always tried to get it back. What a goddamn mess. Yeah. He was caught copying the formula. He could have exposed the whole thing. Don't start to get soft now. You don't want to end up in the pit yourself. God no. Have you seen it recently? It's starting to fall apart. Yeah, I heard it's gone blind. Eh. I really wish I hadn't missed it. Damn, it's cold. How long is it gonna take? Shut up. I'm sick and tired of listening to your whining. I told you to dress warmly. Should have brought booze. Hey, there's someone there. Ah! Well, that was unpleasant. Who were those men? Well, I hope we don't find out anytime soon. And on that note, that does it for this video. This has been I Say Cosm. Stay tuned for more Cosmic Horror video games. Thanks for watching.